it's exactly what they need uh, the women now to up the uh, scoring rate nine wickets in hand there is the use of the feet it's dragged away into the leg side and it just clears the boundary I've been playing cricket since I was 10. I've always played sports like my whole life so um, cricket was just another sport that I got into um, at the time and you know it's taken me this far so yeah. Um, before cricket I've played soccer, uh, volleyball, basketball, hockey, badminton, pretty much everything. I think it was just um, this sport had the potential that I could go far and make my own place in the world. It wasn't as clear of a pathway that I had. Um, and my dad was really passionate about the sport too, so he really wanted me to play. Uh, my son was watching World Cup 2015. And until that moment, typical American kids, they only know baseball. So as the game was going on, um, one of the player got 100. So his eyebrows went really big and like, oh, you can score 100 in cricket, I want to play. Because that number looked really big in that small mind at that time. And I said, certainly, yeah. Then I started looking around uh, a good cricket academy, I call it California Cricket Academy, where we live, Cupertino nearby. So reached out to them and they immediately uh, enrolled in a winter program. It was a three-month program. He really liked it. Uh, the platform was in place for that age to tee off. And uh, while playing uh, some of the small games, uh, Chetna, we used to take her to watch these games because she was doing gymnastics and uh, Bharatanatyam and other uh, activities. Uh, that game, they were short of a player and they said, they were looking for and Chetna said like I can go field and like it was a big surprise for us too yeah go and interestingly they in cricket they say you have to hide in a third man or something like that and uh, she was asked to field in a third man position and the throws she made from first moment to the keeper really attracted a lot of people and she had an excellent arm at the time um, this was 2015 so meaning like roughly 10 year old at that time she was so that uh, brought interest in her and uh, many parents who were at that ground encouraged that she can play cricket and good hand-eye coordination so that's how the cricket thing started. I'm going to be honest, we started arguing a lot more, um, me and my dad, but I mean it was all for the best because he, he just wanted the best for me. Um, and obviously it wasn't like just, you know, back and forth, oh, I hate you, I hate you. No, it was just, it was a lot of like passionate argument, like um, if you want to be the best in the world, you know, like there has to be a lot of passion and I think that's sort of how our relationship changed a little bit. Um, we definitely spent like a lot more time together um, after I started getting to cricket. Um, just him dropping me off, picking me up from practice and games and stuff. Yeah, he got a lot more involved in what I was doing sports-wise. I think they always tell me like when I was your age, like I didn't go around the world playing cricket and you know doing the things that you did. So uh, they do tell me that they're proud of me. Yeah.
My dad, he had some sort of intuition to wake up at like three in the morning and he checked his email and the email was there like, oh, you got selected. And so he woke me up and he's like, oh my God, like you, you got selected, like you're in the team. And I was like, what, what's going on? Because it's like three in the morning. And yeah, it was, it was amazing. I don't think I could sleep for like an hour and a half after that. The foundation the academy gave was pretty solid. Uh, from the beginning, she really liked to bat well. 2016, um, Nadia sent an email for the first time inviting uh, a combines happened in Bay Area. And she was lucky to get an exposure of what it means to play at a national level. Uh, she was regularly doing classes and batting and practice at that time, mostly on the batting side. And going and uh, Trying to see the combines in Palo Alto first time was a good exposure. So that opened her eyes and which motivated her more. Uh, like from childhood, she got a presidential fitness award in second grade itself. She wanted to represent uh, our country, United States, in Olympics one day. So sports was always in her mind to do something, to go out and prove something. Playing and representing at the national level was her dream for a very long time. So no wonder looking at these combines, she got a lot more motivated. So she continued to put a good amount of effort. I think the same sacrifices as I was making before. Um, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication and you know while my friends are out like you know partying having fun doing all these things that people my age would do like I'm in the nets practicing day in day out like hours and hours a day I think the biggest challenge that I faced as a cricketer is like once I got to a certain level um, I started playing for other people and not myself and I started playing for their expectations of me and um, playing for their reactions for what I would do rather than playing for myself and my own love for the game. Um, and so I think once I realized that, like I, it took me a while to really just start playing for myself again and playing for my own love for the sport. Um, but other than that, I think challenge is just a part of playing sports and if you're not up for a challenge, then I don't think you can really call yourself an athlete. I think the best course of action um, and reaction to that would be just, you know, seeing what I could do better um, and seeing, you know, what did I do wrong, why did I not get selected and just sort of like trying to improve on whatever it is that I was lacking in. Um, it's heartbreaking. It definitely is heartbreaking. Um, it's, it's a World Cup and I was the one who went up to the CEO of USA Cricket and was like, hey, can we play this World Cup? Um, and you know, here we are like a few years later and he and other people of USA Cricket made this pathway and now we're here playing the World Cup and it's just really heartbreaking that I can't get to go. Um, but it's, it's definitely a lesson for me. Um, uh, I definitely need to improve on some things and if I can do that then I'll go far. It, it's really uh, hard. I, I understand. I think a team selection, a lot of factors get into a team selection. It's not going to be easy for the selectors. I know it's, it's tough because they have to look at different roles, the combination, uh, the skill that is needed at that particular spot. So, end of the day you need only the 15 who they believe is the best to go and represent so i wouldn't say it's like you are in any way less or anything but that's the way the selection process happens but having said that it is disheartening because the background is uh, one of the uh, local big organization ncca where in the early days when ian came as a ceo um, I remember the day Chetna was the first one to show leadership to go talk to him. He, in fact, she wrote an email to him and he made sure he took time to talk to Chetna that we need to arrange something for a U19 World Cup. That's one of the historical events coming and I'm very happy and proud that Chetna took the initiative. 
yes it is very disheartening and uh, <laughs> discouraging but at the same time this is sports you know it's you know you got to move on and pick up and she's there she's in the reserve it's not like you know the hope is still there you never know there may be depending on the situation she may get to play too and uh, you know good luck with the great team getting selected who are representing our country we are very proud of that moment but i'm sure it's just the beginning it's like her career started only in 2016 considering that we made a good significant process so all the credit goes to all the local academies a lot of volunteers um, enormous amount of effort has been going around in building women's cricket and lots of encouragement from senior players who have been there done that we are going in the right path i'm sure chetna will play in not only representing our country for a long time but she will also play in many of the uh, fair breaks and leagues are there out there and she'll not only enjoy but as she was been dreaming for a long time she will represent the olympics you know that's true one day as well i'm going to be the best in the world that's where i see myself going um regardless of what's happening right now regardless of any setbacks i may have it all happens for a reason and i know that this is not going to stop me and i know that just because i don't go to south africa it doesn't mean anything yeah it's a world cup yeah it's heartbreaking but there's many more tournaments i have left and i'm going to prove it and i'm going to show everyone that i'm the best There's a lot more people playing men's cricket than women's cricket and the level of competition in men's cricket especially in the US is a lot lot higher. Um for every 200 um boys that play there's probably like one girl that plays and that level of competition in boys cricket is what brings the quality of men's cricket in the United States um much higher than the quality of women's cricket in the United States. Um and I guess just that like a youth level there's more passion from the boys who want to play um they just they know that if they want to go far they have to have like an innate passion and they just play the sport like they just play it more to have fun rather than for other people and i feel like in women's cricket there's a lot of people who just play it solely to like just for the recognition for the awards you know they don't play it for the sport itself I think a lot of people who I play with um play you know purely for what can I achieve with this sport rather than you know am I playing this sport to have fun um and you can see that a lot in the culture of you know when you play together with other people um sometimes it's not as fun cuz they're more worried about oh can I get this person out rather than how can I help the team get this person out absolutely i'm very proud and i'm very happy and uh, um as 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 a girl um, they go through a lot of pressure uh, and not only on the uh, school side academic side and also uh, physical and on the growth and everything so they overcome many of these things and uh, and representing and playing at the national level i think hats off to not only just chetna but also all the girls who are playing at this level it it means a lot it really means a lot it's a lot of hard work reaching that spot having a platform and getting selected in you know a top 20 of the country level and going out and playing uh, different countries is 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 an amazing experience we heard a lot of um, stories we have seen in television um, lords and different stadiums and all those things Uh, coming to this country and start with uh, the academies like California Cricket Academy where uh, they arranged uh, summer tours to England both my son and daughter uh, played in England uh, county conditions and 
uh, Chetna, I remember she had a 128-run uh, partnership in Ampleforth. Um, so that was um, several years ago. And going there and playing at that level and also going visiting all these stadiums uh, with the players, it's, I think the right word, what I said is magical. It's, it's really a dream come true. I'm really wishing uh, she will play for a long time and more stadiums and more countries. This is a very uh, tough period and that could be one of the reasons where I think, um, you know, I, I feel a little bit left out in this U19 World Cup team. But again, it only shows us how more you have to work hard. Balancing school, especially the junior year in USA and also the senior is, is, is very difficult. Because she had been talking about two dreams, becoming a doctor and representing um, USA in Olympics. Yes, both are tough challenges, but the way she is working towards it, every time um, she trips and falls, she how she gets up and takes it and works even harder. I'm very positive one day she will achieve both the dreams and we are fully supporting as, as a parent. I have to give my credit to my wife as well. Uh, so we are here for her and same way I think our community, our platform and our country is with her and I'm sure we will all be proud of her one day. I want to play as long as I possibly can. Um, that's honestly my only interest. I want to compete as long as I possibly can uh, with the USA and you know represent USA on multiple different platforms, not even just in international cricket but also in franchise leagues like WBBL, IPL if they're, you know, if they make one for women, uh, the 100, stuff like that, county cricket in England. I just want to play like wherever I can.